Hi. Hello, uh, we have a Honda Civic Type R in the office, and we figured we should do five important things that you should know about it. My favorite thing about this car, among other things, is that it has a brake pressure gauge, which I've never seen on any other car. You can notice it here on the right, as it will be off the brake and on the brake. So you can find out how aggressively you're, uh, you're slamming your passenger's heads into the windshield, which I think is a useful feature. So this car has three exhausts. The reason for this being that it was designed by Enzo Ferrari, who also worked on the Ferrari F40. That's not true. Uh, the reason why it has three exhausts is usually cars of this type, especially Civics with big exhausts and things like that, they get really droney on the highway. It just gets this buzzing, loud noise as the, uh, the exhaust hits a resonance frequency in like a big exhaust. So they figured out a trick with this thing. You can put a low restriction exhaust a small one, so that when you're just driving around on light throttle, you hear a lot of like the engine sound. But once you're driving on the highway, and you get a lot of exhaust gas rushing through, it actually stalls out on the middle one, and then routes through the two larger ones. And if you look underneath, you'll actually see little muffler, big muffler, big muffler. So when you're driving on the highway, you get big muffler, and it's not too loud and droney. And when you're just driving around town, it's really like kind of loud and sounds cool. Which is a really sort of trick and simple way of doing things. It's like you don't need any flaps or anything. It's a kind of interesting like simpler is better, also kind of complicated, but I think interesting. But if you see it's the, this really slick little thing and it's just very, I mean if anyone tells you it's like slotting a rifle around, they're lying to you. Um, not that I say that with a great deal of experience, <laughs> but it's actually really nice. You can, you can shift it properly with, with as little amount of effort as possible. It's a performance car, and as such, it's a, you know, it's a modern performance car, and as such, a lot of the work is done with the tires. In this case, we've got 245s, which is pretty wide, but in a day of Mustangs coming with 305s, it's not huge. But importantly, it's only 30 section tires, which is, which is what means that it's, you know, this skinny. <laughs> and what that means is this constantly anxiety-provoking when you're driving around, because it's not a very low car, but every pothole, every bump is filled with worry that you're going to blow out a wheel and a tire. So that's a big part of the Civic experience. Wouldn't be a Civic Type R if there were not an innumerable figure of Type R badges. So the one that you notice most is of course a plaque, which gives you, I believe, uh, tells you your car is R, as you know, very, very R-E, and then there's a number. Probably this number is uh, how I'm, um, how many Mustangs you've beaten in drag races. See, this car has, uh, has defeated 13,611 Mustangs. You see the, uh, the nice, I believe these are Recaro seats. We've got the sporty seats, we've got the Type R badges, Type R badges, Type R badges over there. Yeah, there's, it's a very Type R-y experience. Got your little red Honda, um, uh, which isn't just something that you see on uh, 1990s Integras. They actually put them on the real car got your sort of weird, lumpy thing over there, and you come all the way around, and hidden behind this large wing is, of course, your final Type R. It really rounds out the package. So those are five things that you should know about the Honda Civic Type R, other than that it's really fast and fun to drive, uh, which it is also. <laughs> <laughs>